Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to set up your folders for my Chrono Miner parser script, manually extract one minute data from TradingView, and download and run the Chrono Miner parser script. Before we start, make sure you have the following Python installed and a folder containing a virtual environment ready. If you don't have Python installed or a virtual environment set up yet, watch my video on installing Python for futures data analysis first. I'll link it in the description. All right, the first step is to set up our Chrono Miner root folder. In my first video, the folder we created with a virtual environment was your file name. So you can just rename that folder Chrono Miner. Next, create a folder called raw data. And inside raw data, create three folders, post parse data, trading view import, and yearly data. Now, in yearly data, create subfolders for your asset class. I'll be using YM, so I created a YM folder. I also created ES and NQ as an example for other folders to create for your asset classes. Now the folder is ready. Next up is manual data extraction. But before we can start, we want to ensure our TradingView exports go directly to the TradingView import folder we just created. To check, press Control, comma, in Trading View. Look for the Downloads path. If it is wrong, click Change and select your folder. Now create a watch list with all the futures contracts you want. Mine is Backtest YM, and today I will be pulling about five years of YM contract data. Now we're going to go ahead and export the one minute data. Open the chart, pan out to see all the chart data and remove drawings and indicators. Scroll all the way to the left until you see the crown icon. That's the earliest available data without replay. Go to Manage Layouts, Export Chart Data. Change Time Format to ISO Time. This is required for my script. Click Export. Now, to get older data, you will have to click the Replay button, then click the Select Bar button, and click the last bar next to the crown. Scroll left to the next crown and repeat the export process. Keep going until the chart looks broken and scattered. That's the limit for that contract and the last export for that contract. Repeat for each contract in your list. When you finish a contract, click the X at the bottom right of the replay bar to exit replay mode and start a new contract. Five years of manual data extraction took me about 30 minutes, so I will cut to the downloading the Chrono Miner script now. I ended up with about 97 CSV files, and this was the bulk of the work required for the data extraction. You can see the timestamps to verify it took about 30 minutes. Now, click the link in the description to go to my GitHub and download the Chrono Miner script. In the Chrono Miner repository, the README will give you more background on what the script does. At the end, there is a link to my X page. Go ahead and give me a follow while you're there. Anyway, click on the file chronominer.ipynb. Then click the three dots in the top right and select download. Save this file in the same folder that contains your raw data folder. Next, open command prompt by pressing Windows key, typing CMD and hitting enter. Then type cd followed by the file path to your project directory. Mine is chronominer, and then press enter. Once there, activate your virtual environment by typing venv slash scripts slash activate. Now your environment is active, go ahead and type Jupyter Notebook, but ensure you use the correct spelling or you will get this error. After typing it correctly, Jupyter Notebook shall launch. Once there, click and open the file chronominer.ipynb and it'll open up another browser. Scroll down until you find three file path variables. Update these so they point to the correct folders on your system. So I made a mistake here and forgot to create YM subdirectories in both the post parse data and trading view import folders. This is mostly for consistency, so I'm quickly creating those YM subdirectory folders and moving the data into the correct location while updating my paths. Once your folders are set up and paths updated, 
the next step is to update the script to match the ticker you're working with. By default, the script is set to NQ. Press Ctrl F and search for NQ. This will highlight every instance that needs to be replaced with your chosen ticker. If you're using NQ, you can skip this step. In my case, I'm switching to YM, so I replace every capital NQ with capital YM and every lowercase NQ with lowercase YM. This is case sensitive, so be careful not to miss any. I'll rearrange my screen so you can see the data populate in real time. Click anywhere in the code and press Shift Enter to run the script. Watch as the data auto populates. And that's it. Your data is now parsed and ready for bulk automated backtesting. The only issue I've had with the TradingView export data is missing data between 1614 and 1630 for older dates. And this is a TradingView issue. Now, in my next video, I'll cover BOR plus 828 setup and automated backtesting. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out what's next.